So welcome to the channel. My name is Derek. Definitely glad you're here. I know you guys like these videos. I know you guys like these in particular, and I have fun making them. And um, <laughs> it, this one should be a little bit interesting. So uh, Sweetie, as you know, as you know, he uh, actually decided to take up the challenge for the fight against Chad here in Ironton. Well, he wanted to do an interview. So for some reason, he always comes back to me, and I don't know why. Uh, and this is after the fact that, you know, he has threatened to sue pretty much any YouTuber that makes a video of him. Which, good luck with that. <laughs> good luck with that, sweetie. Um, but he said he wants to have an interview. Um, I don't know if this, if this is going to be very long. He seems kind of miffed a little bit because I called him out. But, sweetie, uh, why are you back? Well... Well, you, 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 you challenged me, you made videos about me, then you also made some posts about me, about where I'm not going to be there, and you know what? I called the promoter, and I was like, hey, I'm going to do this. I'm going to beat the shit out of Chad. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to win. It doesn't matter what you think, I am going to win. And you have no idea about how good I am. Well, I, I understand. I watched your stream. I watched it. Um... It was after I got off work, and, um, I mean, you seem confident. I, I'll be honest with you, man. I didn't even think you was going to be coming to it. You, you seem to dodge a lot of things, and I still have an idea that you might not show up at all still um, because you have your court case here. Let me ask you about why did you decide to do a continuance when you knew you had a court case here in Ironton and you skipped town? Why, why did you do that? Well, I was really busy trying to solve a true crime. I was in Columbus and everywhere in Ohio and in the world. I was trying to, say, like, solve some murders. And, you know, I would have got away with it if it wasn't for those teenagers and that, that stupid dog. I mean, I didn't murder anybody. I, I'm just doing what... I, I'm. It's my God-given right to actually use my First Amendment to track down these killers and these pigs. And they're, they're trying to stop me from... Uh, figuring out the f anything. I I'm so flustered right now. That's why I'm. That's why I'm so. Uh, God, it's it's okay, dude. You you can be flustered. I understand a murder is pretty bad. It's a pretty serious thing. So, why is it you think? It, well, actually, let's go ahead and do this. This is going to be a little bit more controversial question. Um. Okay, Siri. Uh, anyways, uh, this is going to be a little bit more controversial. Uh, thing. So you have this thing when people say things about you or um, anything like that, or if they're a policeman or take me, for instance, when I actually called you sweetie, you have this thing about saying that you're going to have sex with somebody in the butt. You're basically general, uh, basically saying you're going to rape them in the butt. And you say this, you said this about McKnight. We have footage of this you said that to me we have uh text messages or facebook messenger posts that you sent where you basically say you know imagine holding me down holding you down and stuff like why do you do that well i'm just i'm just i'm a i'm a romantic you see and you know i don't care if it's guys or girls i'll go either way i i, I won't even make any exceptions i'll just go for it you know uh i'd like to share my d everywhere i go and if it's a guy or a girl, if it's a cop or even you, you know, I, I'd like to show you a good time. Uh, full moon night on cornfield, you know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, I, when I say these things, I'm just trying to express that, you know, I like you. I want to date you and maybe we can have some, you know, sex or something in the butt. That's what I like to do the most. It's, it's my thing. You just don't understand. Again, there's nothing wrong with that, sweetie. But the way you're doing it, you're forcefully saying these things to people you can't just say live on a stream that you're going to rape somebody and that's what you're doing in my opinion that's what you're doing you're saying you're going to rape someone and that's not funny it's not funny at all and you know that is sexual harassment well it's not sexual harassment because it's coming from me it's my first amendment right to say that i can say whatever i want because people give me money well I mean, people give you money, but it doesn't mean you can do that. Um, you, you just can't do that. Those are things you can't do. So, 
let's go ahead and talk about the fight. Uh, let's get away from the other thing. Well, uh, actually, uh, I, I made a song for you, um, and uh, I was hoping to sing it for you. I actually wrote it specifically for this interview, and I figured that, hey, since you're so cool and awesome and I really love money, I figured I'd go ahead and sing it. And you might be able to find this on iTunes, uh, Amazon, Spotify, uh, uh, whatever, Amazon, and DeleteLaws.com. So it goes like this. I'm an alpha. I'm a game changer. I want to be the Black Power Ranger. My D is really tiny, and that's so fucking K. So lock me up and torture cuffs because that's my favorite thing. I love to spooch. What? Dude, that's brilliant, actually. It's really, that's actually, that is brilliant. You wrote that yourself? Uh, yeah, yeah, I totally wrote that myself. I didn't have any help whatsoever. Uh, as I said, you know, not only have I fought people like uh, Joe Shamrock, uh, Hulk Hogan, Jim, uh, Joe, Joe Rogan, uh, uh, Lex Luger, uh, Batman, Superman, Goku. I fought all those people, and, and during those times when I was beating them all, I, I was thinking of writing these songs, so I wrote these songs just for you, so you can share it to your audience, because people like me, and I think... My next big thing I'm going to be doing is getting into music because I'm really good at anything I do. I'm really good at and I just want to prove my worth. Well, you're definitely you're definitely doing something there. And uh, I, I don't think you fought Joe Rogan or Ken Shanrock. Is that Ken Shanrock? Ken Shanrock. Who else? Did you say? I don't know. I was listening to you blabber off about a bunch of things about people you fought, how you never won a fight, lost a fight. How you've been in hundreds of fist fights, which I would love to see some footage of your actual MMA fights. I've looked all over the internet. I'm not seeing these things. Um, why can I find them? Well, they're in the secret part of the internet, in the dark web. That's where I put everything. That's where everybody knows. Anybody that knows me, they think I'm pretty badass. They think I'm really cool. And I can really take anything. And my fans will even say I'm a beast. You know, I am an alpha beast. I'm a game changer, an alpha beast, and you all know it. Well, okay, that's fine too. So, uh, so I, I, I have, I have a, just a sliver of respect for you, kinda. So you accepted the challenge between you and Chad. So you said you could, you was gonna win, and you seemed very confident, and both of you guys seemed really confident. But you said you haven't been, you haven't fought in a while. But you said you're going to win anyways. You said if you had to bet any money, uh, you'll bet on you. So I don't know why you think that. Um, ha, is there any way you can prove this? Well, I tell you what. Whenever September comes, I'm going to go and I'm going to face that cop pig. And I'm going to destroy him in front of everybody. And people are just going to be like, whoa, look at cool, look how awesome. Dude, I'm going to have 100,000 followers, not counting the ones that I bought. But, and people's going to give me money. And I can continue doing my job of doing nothing except for getting money. And I can actually get something like an extender for my little dick. You know, since it's really tiny, I want to get my dick bigger so girls will like me. That's a, that's a, it's weird. It's a weird truth you got there, bud. Really weird. Uh, I don't know why. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. But, sweetie, let me go ahead and tell you a thing. I always say this in my videos. A lot of the things I'm saying are purely my opinion. Um, I, I like to use my First Amendment. And you say you like your First Amendment right. And I do like to do that. I like to use my First Amendment right to say these things. Uh, and I also, you know, like using my fair usage and parody clause and stuff like that um so you said you're going to sue the whole internet basically because people hurt your fifis why do you think you can sue anybody that makes a video about you well let me tell you this i am the best biggest youtuber on the platform i grow so much and people shouldn't be making fun of me because it's not nice and you know what i, I cry every time somebody makes a video about me because you know 
I'm really cool with it. It hurts my feelings just a little bit. But people make fun of me. You, you know what I mean? You, you know what I mean? It's okay, buddy. You don't, don't cry. Don't cry. No, it's okay. But, but, but people are really mean, and they're really mean to me, and I don't know why, and I'm going to sue everybody. I'm going to sue people. I'm an alpha, and I'm a game changer. You don't even know. Sweetie, I think we should end this interview then. I think you should take a take some rest. I know you're stressed out right now. Um... I know you are, man. And and it's okay. It's okay. Um, we'll end it right here. Okay, bud? Okay? Well, uh, uh, when when I come back to Ironton uh, on the 26th, do you want to go out with me? No, I don't. I'm sorry. Hate to put you down, bud. Hate to do it. But I don't want to go out with you. I just don't. Okay. Uh, okay. I, it's okay. I want to ask again. Um, I might send you a text message with my D on it, if you like. No, I I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Exa uh, 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 ah, no. See you later, sweetie. You, you, you get back on the road and do what you do. All right, guys, it seems like sweetie um, I got a little emotional right there. I, you know, I kind of feel bad for him just a little bit. I, I didn't expect him to cry or anything i didn't that wasn't my intentions was to make him cry i i didn't mean that and you know i feel bad because you know he's got his heart where it needs to be you know um in the trash and um hopefully hopefully you know things get better for sweetie um i know if he doesn't show up for the court case he is going to get put in the um dungeon with his torture cuffs and um he always says something about pigs putting things in his butt which i don't think that's true and if that is true then um i would like to see footage of that just saying i mean i i, I i'd like to see you in torture cuff how did you might go but sweetie guys thank you so much for watching this interview I, I love doing these. I don't know why he keeps on coming back on the channel, but he, he's a good sport. Guys, feel free to hit that follow button. Hit that sub button. Share. Let's hit up to 2,000 followers. Let's get up there. Let's do it. We're, we're 1,050. Let's get up to 2,000. Let's get up to 10,000. Let's get to 100 million. All right, guys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon.